Imagine the softest sheets you've ever felt. Now imagine them getting even softer over time. I'm here to tell you about Bolin Branch sheets. In a recent customer survey, 96% replied that Bolin Branch sheets get softer with every wash. They're made from the rarest organic cotton and designed to get even softer over time. Try their sheets with a 30-night guarantee plus 15% off your first order with code Odyssey. So head to b o l l and branch.com today. Exclusions apply. See site for details. Passion, drive, and patience. What brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance from superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Welcome to the Power Cat Podcast, GoPowerCat.com's Kansas State Athletics Show. Make sure you're subscribing to our show at Apple, Spotify, Amazon, or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, from the GPC studios, here's your host, GoPowerCat publisher, Tim Fitzgerald. It's the overtime. Welcome, welcome one and all to the PowerCat Overtime Podcast, the podcast in which you ask us anything we will answer to the best of our stupidity and abilities. Here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. We're sponsored by... So Long Saloon and Taco Lucha. Now, I mentioned stupidity. One of those establishments also employs Ryan Gilbert. So there we Hmm. go. That's the tie to the stupidity. I ate it so long. No, excuse me. I lied. I ate at Taco Lucha just last night, and it was delicious. But we're recording this earlier in the week, and I went, unfortunately, on Peanut Butter Taco Tuesday, which I'd normally avoid. And it was rather chaotic. You peanut butter taco addicts need help. But I know one person out there thinks you're doing just fine with your addiction, and that is Bob Huggins' daughter. Why are you judging people with peanut butter addictions? There we go. Just brought that right into here. Jeez. Right? Right? Got Gilbert! <laughs> it happened again. Oh, my God. It's the pleats. It's the pleats. That's what you get for wearing pants. Again, party with the pants, well, party, party in my pants, pants, with the the pants. pants party. Uh, again, we're sponsored by Lucha and Saloon. Make sure you stop in there at the corner of Morrow and 12th, right there in Aggieville, right there. I circled twice looking for a spot because the big parking lot behind uh, other establishments is now gone due to a failed construction project or one. Maybe that's just on hold. And I finally parked in the garage. There was at least 10 cars doing laps in Aggieville looking for a street spot. I pulled in the garage and there was like six cars there. I think everybody was doing laps just to get a second look at Tanner and me walking mm-hmm. around Aggieville. Do you, have you downloaded the app for oh, the yeah. parking garage? Okay. Oh, yeah. So you're not risking it when you go in there? No. Yeah. No. I mean, you get two hours free and then... I love how you have to charge your Apple card. Zero. Zero dollars. That kind of bothers me. It's annoying. It's like I'm tagging my card but for nothing. But they, I guess they want to make sure it's valid. They're probably doing like one cent so that well, they can charge you more. They're not because uh-huh. it doesn't even hit the, it doesn't even hit the account. Uh, doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. But I pay zero dollars every time I park in the garage for two hours. Mm-hmm. It's, they, in hindsight, the development should have been where the garage is and the garage should have been where the parking lot that they took out for the development is. It should be right in the heart of Aggieville. It's pretty, but that's going to be a garage too. Um, have garage space, yes. Hopefully, if it ever gets done, like this podcast. Let's get going with your questions from Wabash Station. It's about damn time. It's the overtime. I don't know how much effort I'm going to put into this one. I just don't. Loser, loser. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know, guys. Gills, 
Diana Dugan. Nice. No, it's what's my name? What's you, I don't Fitz, know. Uh, I, first of all, Gills isn't doing the questions. He's not doing oh, the questions. Uh, Ryan Gilbert is here, and Zach Carlson's here. Um, Cole Carmody got in a horrible bar fight. Um, I saw pictures of him. He, I think he had his nose broken. Um, what if we made that the thumbnail? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> we miss you, Cole. Episode, and then he had a little sinus surgery, so he's. He's battered and beaten and looks like he lost a bar fight, which is a much better story than a surgery. Yeah. Zach, ask. From I Like Pickles Cat, what the f***, Ryan? <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I'm, a, I'm not uh, asking these questions. Yeah. That was fun. I didn't know that was coming. It's like a surprise when you don't have hey, it in front think, of you, right, Fitz? Yes, that. Yeah. yeah oh, how am I supposed surprise. to respond? I don't know. Well, well you. My you, car? Yeah, no, you uh, you said that Cole was oh. more annoying than I like Pickles Cat, and I like Pickles Cat is responding to you, and he wants to know what the f- Ryan. That's another one. Sorry, Fitz. <laughs> sorry, Fitz. I'm done. Fit. You, I'm sorry for turning this into an R-rated podcast by dropping two. But I tried to warn you: don't mess with Pickles. <laughs> yeah, you did. We, we're going to go in and change his name to Angry Pickle. And and that's actually a really good name. And should have a burner. <laughs> and Jerome Yang insisted I can't change his yeah, name, so I'm going to respect his wishes as a as a fake coach with a fake account or a real account. But anyhow, uh, yeah, you want to? Do you choose to answer the question here from from Pickles? The Pickles needs to go after you, Fitz, because in our little text chain Whoa. this morning you were really uh, crapping on Pickles. Well, I just don't want to drink a pickle sour beer. Me neither. I new product from a non-sponsor, Manhattan Brewing Company, is really exploring the boundaries with a pickle sour inspired by Andy Mays. Not a sour beer guy, but and I love pickles, including you pickles, all pickles. That's why I came up with the name. I actually do like pickles. You know what my favorite beer is from them? It's called Jump the Shark IPA. Why? Feels like they're jumping the shark. Yeah, it's right there. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Let's move on. But the I agree old- with the sentiment. <laughs> what the f***, Brian? <laughs> From the old barn cat, 78, what sport or pastime do you enjoy or would like to enjoy that is impossible in Manhattan? Cricket. I was, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking the exact same thing. And, and I have seen – I've never played cricket, but I love when you go to Memorial Stadium and there's just a bunch of guys and they're playing cricket. It is the most fascinating thing to watch. Like I could sit there for hours and just watch them play cricket trying to figure it out. It's the one sport I truly do not understand no what's going on. most of the rules. They've got the little wickets. you got the bowler. And they, they're more like a pitcher. They throw it. There's the batsman. The field is huge. I don't know what a home run is, but you can hit the ball out of the park. It, it's crazy. You run back and forth between the wickets. Is this really what you miss the most? No, not miss. Just what would you like to enjoy? Yeah. My, my answer is simple. The beach and ocean. I, I, Didn't hey. you say sport? Hey, no, so hey, something else. We got another question. Just what what, what was the question? Is it sport or is it from Danger Cat? Time? Is it about the summertime in the no, lake and the beach? No, and he got real big mad on that thread. Who I did, did see that? Danger Cat. Danger Cat. Oh, that's why he's a failed superhero. Uh, yeah, I just I love being at the beach. It's good for the soul. Um, so if you want to sport beach volleyball, there we go. Let's tie it all together. Not that I could play anymore. Not that I was ever good at beach volleyball. But, yeah. Top Gun was the best beach volleyball Bob. movie. Thank you! Man, and the Right new up one, there with Die Hard is the best Christmas movie. The, the, yep. And the new one didn't have any beach volleyball. They had something else. I can't remember what it was. I didn't see the new one. Yeah, the new one's spectacular. But you can watch it on Paramount+. Plus. Yeah, again, folks, if you are a full-paying annual subscriber to Go Powercat, if you're if you're getting the hundred whatever dollar charge that onto your credit card and you're not using that to access Paramount Plus, why what's the purpose of life? It's a it's a benefit that equals the amount you're spending. It's like you get fifty percent off both Paramount Plus and twenty four seven. Two for the price of one. Just go up to your settings, your picture, your icon, and, and advance from there, follow it. 
You don't have to put it in a credit card. If you're getting billed, you've got a second subscription somewhere. So take care of that. It's worth it. Great stuff. Next question is wait, also... Wait, 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 wait. Oh? I'm trying to pull this up. My computer's being slow. I, my senior year... Oh, it just loaded. I gave a presentation in Drew Smith's sports reporting class about cricket. Mm. And I have the origins of cricket. What is cricket? Hitting strategies. Cricket field. The Olympics. There was a lot of stuff on this. And I, I think it's I got an Olympic a. sport. It, it has well. not been... Has not been played since, but it may be played in 2028. That's what I had noted down. It's not we really played in 2028. That's in LA. Okay. No well, way. this was from 2020, so this is an old, an old presentation. Well, I know this that uh, if we continue to talk about cricket, we will have crickets. Oh, crickets. Yeah, listening to this. That's the thumbnail. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite thing to do now on the overtime is just picking what the thumbnail is going to be. I like it. It needs help sometimes. Yeah. Uh, from also from the old barn cat 78, what natural or man-made feature would you like to have in Manhattan? Oh, that's perfect. There you go. There's the beach. Yep. I actually would like, uh, the mountains to the, to the North of Bill Snyder family stadium, uh, with an ocean adjacent because you get both, you get the ocean and the mountains. I don't know where the ocean goes though. Well, let's just let's just form an ocean uh, that runs, uh, you know, through southern Kansas, mid- central southern Kansas, avoiding my hometown of Salina, um, so that can be beachfront property. It takes out Oklahoma. We don't really need that state. Uh, then then comes down and connects to the Gulf. So it's an ocean, but it's not really an ocean. It's like a like the Caspian Sea. We can call it the Farmageddon Sea. I don't, I don't know. That, that was a callback to this week from the yeah. regular podcast. What if they don't listen to the other one, Timothy? That's their problem. If they're not consuming all the free stuff we provide these wonderful fans, that is not going to keep me awake at night. That's their issue. Sorry. I think that since Manhattan and the Little Apple is a big uh, tribute to New York City and... The island of Manhattan, Little Apple, Big Apple, you know, that thing. I think that Manhattan, Kansas should, at their best hotel in town, uh, put in a tribute to the best hotel in Las Vegas, the New York, New York. Oh, that is. Uh, yeah, yeah. And instead of having the Big Apple coaster, they have the Little Apple coaster. So I want a roller coaster in town at the best hotel. Probably the Bluemont, maybe the Courtyard. Oh, that's that's a good catch for it. And the Aggieville Coaster. No, the Little Apple Coaster, because it has to because it's the Big Apple Coaster right. in Vegas. But it could like go, you know, swooping up into the air and then comes just crashing down this above Morrow Street. It's, ah! it's probably more like the little Go Gator that they bring around to the. Yeah. You can fair, jump off but, at Taco Lucha. Oh yeah, just jump off. That's it. I've done that so many times. I see something, I'm on a roller coaster, I see something, I just hop out. Yeah. I actually would love a roller coaster in the general vicinity of Manhattan, though. I'm with you. Or a proper just amusement park slash water park. Something that Are you crapping on your former place of employment? If we want to get into the facilities that I used to work at... Yes. Wow. He you, really turned his back on him. Oh, yeah. Real, Imagine what he's going to do to you, Fitz, whenever he leaves. Really turned, I'm, turned I'm my prepared. back. <laughs> That's why I'm not letting him go until I'm dead. Uh, well. I, I won't be around to hear the trash. Uh, y- you know what? I'm going to incorporate that into my dream of building a outdoor music venue with a casino right there at yeah. Exit 303. And then we'll have a water park also. I kind of thought about ball fields and stuff, but I'm like, uh, we've got a casino. and uh. No, ball fields too. Because then they can go to the water park and amusement park. Adults can go to the casino. You can bring in all of these, you know, parents that think their children are the are God's greatest earth to youth baseball and youth softball. That's true. 
and you can get them to pay, you know, a couple thousand bucks a team and then 200 bucks a night on hotel and then, you know, 100 bucks a day on food. You could really just ramp it up. I agree. I'm into that. Okay. Now I just got to win the lottery. Maybe I have already and don't know it. What a lottery? When do they draw? Tonight. Do they draw on Mondays too? This. Yeah, Mondays Powerball. Tuesday, Thursday, or Tuesday, Friday is Mega Millions. I don't know if anybody won Mega Millions last night. Let's see. Well, maybe I'm Let's see. Maybe I'm sitting here stinking wealthy and don't even know it because I bought tickets on Monday. Uh, I tried buying <laughs> on Monday. I went to the local convenience store and I bought a Powerball and a Mega Millions. Mm-hmm. He was able to print off the Powerball, which was good for that night. But the power or the Mega Millions, the the machine wouldn't go. It kept trying to print it, and it just wouldn't. He's like, "Do you just want the Powerball, man? Like this isn't going to print you a, a Mega Millions." So I'm like, "All right, well, huh. could have been the winner. It wasn't. It's up to 320 million for Friday's drawing. So it did, nobody won the Powerball. Nobody, uh, neither." Neither. Nobody won neither. Damn it, I'm or, still poor. There. So both are above three hundred well, million do dollars. To, don't you have to go in and claim it? What do you mean? The the one that you didn't oh, get. That, no, they reset it. I no, mean, no, like the machine just didn't. He charged me two bucks for the Powerball. Oh, I didn't okay. pay for a Mega Millions. He okay. was just like, just get but out of here. That's what I'm here. saying. You never know. The one that you would have bought could have been the winner. Could have been the winner. Could have been, but also probably not. You never know. Probably not. Um I really hope that one day, and I'm sure it'll happen, that the lottery prize, the cash prize after taxes comes out to a billion dollars. Hasn't happened yet. Oh, man. I could get by. I think like five to six hundred, six hundred million. I, five hundred, six hundred million, I think, has been like the top like after taxes cash prize, roughly. So if you win it and it's not a billion, you should just quit. Say no. I'm going to let the pot keep building so somebody can win a billion. I'm going to pledge this right no. now to K-State fans. If I win a billion dollars in the lottery, and not a not a jackpot of billion dollars, what I actually win post-taxes and all that is a billion dollars, I am going to walk up to Gene Taylor and say, here is half of it. Build me a field house. And if he turns it down, I'm going to say bad things. You know what I would do? I would just buy up all those apartment complexes, like right next to, you know, the stadium, like adjacent there, build my own arena, and then lease it out to the university and just make money that way. Oh, that's not bad. I kind of like that. Just grow them all. The Carrie and Zach Carlson Family Event Center. (laughs) I should actually, if I won the lottery, I should build the Carrie Carlson. Uh, dental school, since yeah. Kansas still doesn't have a dental school. That's weird. That actually is a good point. I'm surprised that nobody, like any school really, if you wanted to put a dental school out in Hayes, I guess, you know, why not? It doesn't really matter. It's a graduate level type of school. You can put it wherever. I'm just excited for NFL season so I can get weekly emails from Kerry Carlson with my survivor pick. Yes. Some guys got a weird cult going. What, just running weird contests? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're not weird. weird I'm going to win this year. You don't play our golf ones. Do not. I wouldn't know the first thing about golf. It's okay. Most people that play don't either. Yeah, like you. I actually won some money this week. I thought you... Oh, in the contest. Yeah. Gotcha. No, yeah, not I playing did. it, that's for yeah. sure. Yep, Ricky bottled it. Would have won a lot more money had he not. Bottled it? Bottled it. That's his name? No. You, you Ricky what? ruined it. It's, it's a term. You know what I'm talking about, Fitz. No, I, I don't. If you listen to the last po- the questions podcast, you would know that I am six years old, so I don't understand right, that well, phrase. Sorry. The humans will be back with more of the overtime podcast. My days working and taking care of my little ones can be a lot. I checked out care.com and it was so easy for me to find local, experienced, and background check sitters. Finding our babysitter was way more affordable than I thought. Care.com makes it super easy. Search for qualified candidates. You can view their profiles, read reviews and ratings, check their availability, send messages directly, get the help that you need. Care.com should be every person's go-to. Welcome back to the overtime. Speak humans. 
Next question is from Momo Cat. Momo. What team or teams do you root for in other conferences? Oh, I don't really. I don't. I don't really root for anybody. I I don't. I don't. I mean, it's not like I turn on Pac-12 games. Go, oh, I'm a big whatever fan. I know whichever team I have money on. That's all I do now with college football. That's all my. External Big 12 interest is in games I might have put money on. And you find yourself, like, uh, locked in on a Mountain West late night game that you don't know anything about the teams, but you you got Utah State, and you got to get through this game, and they're going to win by five. And you stay up all night, and then they lose. You cry. Maxion parlay boosts. Yeah, I don't. I, seriously, I don't. I don't really care for anyone else's basketball program, football program. I guess there's some I don't mind, but as a kid, I was weirdly into West Virginia football because they'd play on Thursday nights. I'm a I'm a big Thursday night college football fan. I will say it. Boise State, West Virginia, those are my teams because they played on Thursday nights. I loved watching college football on ESPN on Thursday nights. That's why I like when K State plays football on. ESPN on Thursday and Friday nights. It's great. It's here to screw me up. It's great. Because then you get your whole weekend. What was that year that K-State played like seven home games or like seven games on Saturdays or something? Or they had like five or six open Saturdays. Oh, yeah. That doesn't 13 That was such a weird year. They had midweek games, off weeks. There was so many. I had so so many many open Saturdays. I felt like I was unemployed. It was weird. Yeah. I'll take it again, though. Those were fun. Those were fun to be able to sit around on a Saturday and just watch football. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, next question is from the old Barncat78. What team in another conference and not a former Big 8 or 12 team do you despise? And what about pro teams you despise? I'm getting there with Georgia hmm. football. Yeah. Just a. They're so good, it's just gross. I mean, the level of players they get, I don't know. The off the field stuff's getting kind of. Yeah, that's fair. There. That's fair. I don't know. I don't. Alabama. I actually respect Alabama. I, I feel like. You can, dis- you can respect them and despise them. They still do things generally right, I think. I don't know. The right way. A&M yeah. bothers me. Yeah. A&M bothers me because I thought they were so cool when they joined the Big 12. Everyone was so nice. And then you realize, yeah, they're nice, but it's that kind of glassy-eyed stare of a cult member. Hi, friend. Welcome to College Station. Enjoy your time here. And then they make a whooping sound or something weird. Are they calling the pigs? Is that what they're doing? I don't know, but those yell leaders, they creep me out to all hell. They just, the stuff they do, their signals. Their... You don't like going to an empty stadium at midnight and yelling? I think I did that in, I don't know, whenever they joined. The first time I went, I went to it, and I'm like, this is flipping weird. And then I got drunk. Yeah, I don't know. Gil, are you hating one? You just love everybody. I love everybody. Yeah, you do. Yes. The Cowboys. Pro teams. Mm, don't really know. No, I'm not a big Raiders guy, but that just goes back to my chief childhood. I don't know. Duke basketball. Yeah, Duke basketball. <laughs> Panthers. Florida Panthers. Yeah. Didn't yeah. deserve to win the Stanley Cup. Oh, my God. The Knicks, too. The, yeah, yeah. The Knicks. Yeah. Who are you getting? Don, I think the Royals. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. I, I despise the Royals. Right I'm now. getting there. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you what, this is all part of the grand scheme. You're going to turn down the stadium move and he's going to say, well, I, I got this clause in my contract that I can escape for this reason. Everyone's saying you can't move out of Kansas City. I guarantee you there's a clause in there that allows him to move the franchise, and he is playing this perfectly, tanking the team at the moment you're asking voters to approve a new stadium, which they won't do, and he'll say, hey, Nashville, how you doing? 
that's that's my that's my theory. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Wait until I'm right. Well, nobody will notice because if I'm right, that means the team's so bad, nobody cares. And I think Kansas City is literally getting to that point. Thanks for the World Series championship in 15. When was 15? Yeah. Screw you guys. You haven't done a thing right since then. It's gotten worse with the change of ownership. Wait until the A's move. Once that finally gets approved, then I'll worry about the Royals. Because mm-hmm. there's no way that you're going to have two teams like that that are moving, especially before expansion happens. I think they expand to Nashville or Charlotte or wherever else before they move the Royals. I'm certain of it. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Next question is from Exhausted Nihilist. Nerd topic alert. Mm. What audio slash video editing programs and hardware do Zach and Fitz and the rest of the staff use? Okay, just don't include me. It's all good. I'd like Thanks. to hear Thanks. more about your digital prowess without giving away any secrets, of course. The rest, the rest of the staff here. Yeah. I'm just a no-name. Whatever. Well, we okay. just have an Adobe subscription. We use the Adobe Creative Suite. Yeah, so I use Audition for all my podcasts. He uses use Premiere. I'll use After Effects. I'll use... I'm sad they're getting rid of Prelude, but also I stopped really using Prelude <laughs> over the last couple of years just because I just I don't feel like importing all my clips that way. I just go through them in Premiere which I guess is probably why they're getting rid of Prelude. But there was a time where my camera, when I was using the big camera, I had to put everything into Prelude. If I didn't, it wouldn't work. Like I couldn't put my clips into Premiere. It just wouldn't accept them all. So I'd have to put them into Prelude to actually put them into Premiere because the format was just Mm. weird on that camera. So um, I did use Prelude for that. But now that I use the small camera exclusively, I don't... uh, don't have to do that. I can just bypass that and just put them into Premiere and just scrub them that way. Uh, yeah, Media Encoder. I got Photoshop down there. I got Lightroom. I have Illustrator. Those are my Adobe apps on the bottom of my Apple MacBook Pro. Yeah, I'm pretty much inch. all edition. What did you, when you were doing your podcast, what did you edit in? Edition. Yeah. Yeah. I self-taught myself. All <clears throat> oh, yeah. Edition. I learned everything on the fly. Um, I've tried with Premiere, but it's just a little above my... Cause I, it's I did, what you pay me for. <laughs> I know. I did stuff on iMovie in the past, uh, and now iMovie's I'm, trash. I'm so... Uh, I used Premiere in high school. That's where I learned how to video edit. I didn't use anything lower than a professional video editing software. So when I have to use iMovie or use something like that, I literally can't. I don't know how to use consumer-grade editors because they're too hard for me they're too simple Mm -hmm. they don't give me any of the tools that i need you know i want to use my keyboard commands my blades you know whatever else to you know chop everything up but it doesn't give you that so yeah we used to use uh final cut pro back in the day but then we hired katie who had never used final cut pro and she convinced Fitz enough to just get us Premiere. And I was very happy that she finally fought that battle because I was sick of using Final Cut. Yeah, it's just too complex. It was so... Well, it was it was old. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it wasn't... Yeah, it was just... Even, you know, I had used Premiere a couple of years before, you know, in high school, before I started, you know, doing that. And even Premiere was far and away a better, easier software to use and more professional, it felt. Final Cut was just kind of the early 2000s, mid 2000s. The, oh, if you're a video editor, you got to have this kind of thing. And then Premiere eventually took over as the dominant, the dominant thing, especially now that Adobe's switched to a subscription based thing, which is a little annoying. But also, if you're going to have Photoshop and you need Photoshop, you might as well have all the rest of the stuff. Because Photoshop was the dominant and still is the dominant photo editor. So, yeah. I wish I would have gotten into more editing stuff. You know what we should do sometime, Fitz, is... Have you seen... I've seen this on TikTok, but um, in Photoshop now, the, the latest update is you can go in and have, like, AI fill out the rest of an image. Like, if you have a cropped in image, you tell, you know, the AI how to fill it, and it'll fill the image. 
That's and like crazy. Create something new. I, AI scares me. Yeah. AI scares me more more than Ryan Gilbert. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah. That's that's what we use. Pretty simple. I use a JVC little camera. It's not little, but it's not big either. A little handheld. Uh, the the change, fine. advancement of technology since we started this company is astonishing. I mean, I'm shooting all these daily deliveries off an iPhone with ring lights and, you know, plugged in audio. It, it's incredible what we can do now with limited stuff. Let's move on. I wonder what, when you bought those ring lights, did you buy those online? You buy them from like Best Buy or something. No, online. It'd be funny if you did it in Best Buy. They'd probably give you weird looks. Why is this man <laughs> buying a ring light? <laughs> hmm. Sick freak. Yeah. Last question of the podcast is from Exhausted Nihilist. If you could snap your fingers and move Manhattan up to 150 miles in any direction, would you do it? Which direction do you choose and why? Oh, that's so good. I would move it up north 150 miles so it's not as hot in my car. It's all about you, isn't yep. it? Yeah. It's just about you. I wouldn't want to be in Nebraska, though. No, that's the problem. Uh, and move it 150 miles in your uh, in Kansas City or um, near Hayes or near Wichita or in Nebraska. None of these sound good. I'd go north 30 miles. Get away from the noise of Junction and Fort Riley and be a little more secluded up there. And it's cooler. I don't want to be. I don't want cold. I don't want added cold. Thirty miles is not cool enough. Oh hey, my god! When you <laughs> every every half degree matters in the AO <laughs> the Saab Aero Nine Three, two thousand seven <laughs> AC list model. You know, I don't think I took a picture of it because I was busy walking into the arena. But at, at the Big Twelve basketball tournament in Kansas City this year. I'm not kidding. Your exact car was like up close to the arena, like in a little parking mm -hmm. spot. I'm, I should have taken a picture and just been like, I can't believe that. Was they it the bleep kills. box? Yes. It, it was the bleep box. The bleep box. The S box. The hit box. Mm. The S hit box. Um, yeah. That car sucks. I mean, 150 miles doesn't get you to the mountains, doesn't get you to the ocean, doesn't it doesn't yeah, accomplish it's anything. Not a, it's not enough miles, exhausted nihilist. So no, we're not moving it. Manhattan stays where it is. I mean, I I kind of wish there was a bigger city in far western Kansas so you could just drive to the mountains and other things. Actually, I take that back. I am moving Manhattan. I'm moving it nine miles south to I-70. Mm. Yeah. You, you yeah. want us to be one of those, don't you? Just yeah. right there on, on the highway, like, everyone drives by. That looks like a crappy town. We're a hidden gem. I don't even know who Jim is, but we hid, we hid for him. I don't know. I I'd feel move like it 90 miles east, and we can just replace Lawrence, and Lawrence doesn't exist anymore. Ooh, that'd be a good one, too. Solid. So, but solid. Just, I want more, like, we could have a Cracker Barrel in town if we moved it. <laughs> Nine miles south. Well, there's a hell of a measurement. Why'd you move your whole town nine miles? Uh, we wanted a cracker barrel. We like we like the crackers in a barrel. Their meatloaf is delicious. I, I I'm determined at some point we need to get we need to take a work vacation uh, to the Ozarks and get an old timey photo of the entire staff. So I can sneak it into a Cracker Barrel and put it on the wall. So you're saying we should go to Silver Dollar City and take Yes! It. Count me in. What a retreat for the staff. What a delight. <laughs> we should go before the end of the summer because they're closing Fire in the Hole this year. That's sad. Oh, my God. It's the best ride there. Why are they doing it? They're going to build a new one, I think, next year. A bigger fire with a bigger hole? One that's probably better lit and less uh, creepy. I was scared of that it's ride. It's so I creepy. Kid. Genuinely scared. It's so creepy. The bald knobbers, they mm -hmm. look more like a group of racist clan. Oh, lovely. That's a good thing. They look kind of creepy. Yeah. 
You look a little racist, if yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Cole, I hope you're doing well. Um, not that we transitioned from racist to you. I was just like uh, trying to wrap this thing up here before we do something stupid because we do that. Cole, get better. Uh, I'm sorry you lost that bar fight. Um, hey, who said he lost? His face. You can still win. That's just a, a battle wound. Well, the problem was is he didn't get punched in the face after – uh, taking the crotch shot from the small person, he tumbled to the floor and got kicked in the face by a person of less mass than the rest of us. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Power Cat Podcast. Make sure you're subscribing to our show at Apple, Spotify, Amazon, or wherever you get your podcasts. Power Cat Podcast, all rights reserved, gopowercat.com. With Blue Link Plus, you can access your Hyundai Tucson Limited remotely. Doors unlocked, temperature set, lost car found. There it is. Get complimentary class leading Blue Link Plus. Call 562 314 4603 for complete details. On Paramount Plus, the choice is lightning in a bottle. When you are associated with something legendary, you're like, what am I supposed to do now? Witness the story of Black Sheep's Dreads and his new chance of a lifetime. Catch The Choice is Yours now streaming exclusively on Paramount Plus.